I'm Totes Bergelis. I'm from Lithuania, Shalala. My name is Rudy Valderi. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, United States. My name is Martin Fernandes. Uh, I started playing basketball four years ago. Hello, my name is Afonso Suarez. I'm 17 and I play basketball for uh, four years, maybe. Three, four years. My love for the game of basketball um, became something when I was young. I could remember um, watching Michael Jordan play against the Utah Jazz. That was my first experience with basketball. Um, I couldn't tell you specific plays, but I could tell you the feelings that those games gave me, um, the, especially that last series. Um, with the Utah Jazz, it was uh, just back and forth constantly. I think there was maybe two or three games where the game was decided already by the fourth quarter or by the end of the fourth quarter, and then the rest were just um, nail biting. And I remember watching them with my dad. You know, um, we're a football family, but um, I remember the excitement of watching basketball games more than I remember the excitement of watching any World Cup final. So, uh, although I'm a football player and that's what I do for a living. Uh, there's there's uh, nothing like basketball. I'd rather watch an NBA game than a professional football game. So I think uh, my love for the game came through that. And also um, just it was something that I was able to do by myself. I didn't need a training session. I didn't need to go to the field and get a couple guys together. I could grab a ball and when we moved to Indiana, there was a basketball hoop at our house. So um, I would just shoot around either by myself or with my brother. So I think it's, it's easy to fall in love with the game of basketball and get a real joy out of it. I think I first met basketball when I was like six years old. Whenever my dad bought like a small hoop, so uh, that's when I started shooting a ball a little bit. Since then, actually, I didn't. I don't know. Like, I just fell in love with it. Like, basically, just I was playing like from day to day, day to day, and then I like just realized that it actually was more than a hobby than. I don't want to play professionally, like probably every kid in the world. Um, and I did, and I was dreaming about NBA and all that, and didn't even realize how much work it takes and all that. But yeah, I started playing basketball because I, I wasn't good at football, at, at soccer. And uh, soccer is the most famous sport around the sport in Portugal and in Europe. Uh, I didn't like basketball at first. I played soccer all my life, like since I was three, four till I was thirteen. But then I say I saw Kevin Durant play in 2016 Olympics, and I start to like even more. Then I came here every day to play basketball. Then I make to a team and play real basketball, and I fell in love right away. Basketball is everything in my life. I have the dream to go in the NBA. Uh, uh, if I can, I practice every day. Uh, I'm willing to work harder than everybody. It's my life. I love basketball. Well, basketball connected me actually, like personally, it connected me with like a lot of people. Like right now, all of my friends actually like that I'm still talking to, they all played basketball. I met them through basketball. Um, I've been to the United States through basketball. I got a, an opportunity to graduate from high school in the USA through basketball. Um, and like you said, it connects people, it definitely connects people. I wouldn't even know you like right now if if not the basketball, like if I didn't decide, like, you know, to ask you to play like two and two or something like that. So, yeah, basketball definitely, sports in general, in general, like it connects people. Basketball is a culture from what I found out. Uh, everywhere I go, you know, the people that love basketball feels like they have um, something in common, something that um, they get together and it's like they, even though they just met, they know each other for a long time, which um, I think that's pretty cool. That's the beautiful thing about um, sports in general. Yeah, yeah, I, I met people from Russia, Lithuania, Croatia, uh, America. Like, we can we play like a lot of nationalities here, and I met uh, and meet new new cultures. I imagine it will be different in other countries. This court is pretty general because we live in an island. Uh, this court overall is very good. The, the, like, there's such like minimal things that I don't like about it. Like the backboards, the backboards are trash, but. This doesn't mean anything. Like I don't mind if it's a good court or a bad court. Uh, what is important is to play basketball and have fun. So uh, it's a good court for for an island, and we have a good view while playing basketball and everything. As long as we ha have a ball and people to play, it's cool. I lost two balls right here, but I, I wasn't lucky. Like it was on winter, and it was very cold. I couldn't jump to the water, but 
I put it on this side of the course, so it's more likely to go to the water, but not that often. Well, here in Madeira, it was uh, interesting. Uh, I was just walking around uh, my hotel and uh, I found a basketball court, which is beautiful. It was like right on the edge of the ocean. The background was awesome. And uh, it was cool to see people uh, playing basketball. You know, Portugal is known for, for more of a football culture, especially here in Madeira where Cristiano Ronaldo's from. But it was cool to see a bunch of people um, shooting around, uh, you know, seeing guys with a, a Muggsy Bogues jersey, which you don't see normally, not even in the States. You come here to Madeira Island, you see a dude with, a, with that kind of jersey. just speaks to, to the fact that, uh, you know, maybe basketball culture can grow here. It's got potential. You know, there's professional clubs here on the island, which is very interesting to me. I didn't expect that, but there's actually a few professional clubs in the island. So I think that there's a lot of potential for uh, a big growth in, in basketball culture here. And, and I hope it is because it's just a beautiful place and I feel like it would be very enjoyable. Basketball has clothed me, fed me, allowed me to travel all over the world, meet great people. So I have nothing but love, and I, like, and I admire everybody that I met through basketball, but I have nothing but love for this sport just because of all, all the opportunities it's granted me. Hello, my name is Mikey McClure, and I'm a professional basketball player for Cobb Madera. So I went to Washington State University for four years. I didn't play my first year, so that allowed me to play my fifth year at the University of New Mexico. After that, um, I played my first year professionally overseas for Cyprus, a North Assist. And then now I'm here for Cabadera. It's been a blast so far. I didn't think I could play professional basketball for a while. It wasn't until around my senior year of college where I started having people talk to me about hey, you have the skill level to possibly play overseas. And um, I was really like excited because it had always been a dream of mine, but I didn't think it was tangible until then. Now it's strictly basketball. In college, I had to focus on school and basketball, so it was kind of, I was juggling things. But now since it's strictly basketball, um, I've been able to really hone in on my skills a lot more than I did back when I was in college in terms of really focusing on my nutrition, my strength training, cardio, actually getting enough sleep at night and all that stuff. So yeah, I mean, my the level has risen since college, so I've had to step up to meet those standards. I think that once that you made it into this level, a lot of pressure has been taking off your back because you've made it, but obviously I still have goals, so I put a lot of pressure on myself, but without the school part of it all, I mean, it's a lot better because I'm not stressing about, oh, I didn't do this assignment last night, and yeah, so I can sleep better knowing that it's only basketball. Yeah, Madeira is beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful island. Um, not very big. I didn't know about it until I got here, but apparently it's one of the world's best islands. I think it actually got voted as number one. It's been a great experience. The team is great. The people and the staff that surround me are really supportive and they make sure I'm really well taken care of. And I have great roommates and, uh, and friends now that I'll cherish forever, so it's been great. I think with me, I tried a lot of things growing up. My parents were really supportive of, supportive of me. Um, trying out all types of different stuff. So I tried gymnastics, like horseback riding, all types of stuff. And each time I messed up or I failed at it, I quit. Like I was done with it. I was like, I hate it. I don't want to do it no more. And I think basketball was the first thing in my life where I failed and I was hungry for more. I was like, yes, I, I love it still. Like I didn't have a want to put the basketball down. I wanted to do better and try over and over again, which is really weird for me because I never had that experience where I was bad at something but I still yearned to be better at it. So I think basketball has been that one challenging part of my life that I'm excited to 
um, face every day, I think. So and I'm, I'm really competitive. So basketball has like really fulfilled a hunger in me to be competitive and really work hard. So that's, I think when I was younger, that's when it really clicked for me is that I like basketball because of that. I've gotten a free education because of it. Um, so my parents won't have to worry about helping me with anything after that because I'm debt, I would graduate college debt free. Um, my, the connections I made, I think that are the most important thing that I've gotten out of this, just the networking and um, knowing that I have a sense of security because I know that people will have my back after basketball is over. So, so Yelena and Paige are my roommates right now. Um, Paige is from Ohio and Yelena is from Montenegro and they're the most beautiful people I've ever met in my life, inside and out. Um, They've made this experience for me so delightful and I have I've made friends for a lifetime with them. I know that I can call and they'll answer their phone no matter what and have my back and I'll have theirs no matter what. But um, truly the, some of the hardest workers I've ever met and um, just to be around people who appreciate the game as much as you is really um, satisfying I think I can say because I wake up and I know that those two girls are going to put their all in day in and day out when it comes to basketball. But then when we go home at night, we can sit on the couch and watch movies and make each other food and eat ridiculous amounts of candy. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they've just been absolute sweethearts and dolls. So I, I love them with my whole heart. I've had plenty of men think that they can take me on in something basketball-wise or... Because clearly, I mean, as a girl, your scene is kind of a little bit less than your male counterparts. But I've put in many boys' faces in the dirt, so I'm telling you right now, girls compete just as hard and they got just as much grit as any of these little boys in the playground, so it just depends on how big your heart is. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you got talent, you have talent. Like there's nothing, there's nothing gonna hold you back. You can't, you can't beat someone. They got a lot of talent, boy or girl, or anything in between. So my advice for young girls, and this goes for anything, not just basketball. Um, pursue anything that you want in the world, foolhearted. Like just go all out for it because there used to be a glass ceiling for women. I feel like that's gone now. We have. So many women doing so many great things in the world, so they're just passive and creative for you. I mean, either you can choose to follow one of their paths, or you can be a trailblazer and create your own. There's no limits to what you can do in the world today as a woman, and I think that that's incredible for young women nowadays because you can go out into the world and not be scared of anything. And I think that the only thing that's holding young girls back nowadays is themselves. So, if my only advice I'd give to young girls now is to just have. 100% confidence in yourself and your abilities to do what you want to do and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it because it's a lie.